Shalom, a God back with another video. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. That's all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High God, whose name is Yahweh, by Shem meaning coming in the name of, and Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Today, I want to give a lesson on righteous suffering, right? Suffering being righteous rather than suffering in other ways, right? Um, I'd rather suffer for being righteous than suffer for doing evil or doing wrong, right? That's the lesson here, righteous suffering. Suffering for righteousness, right, if you will. Without further ado, let's get into it. Let's go into the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 5, verse 10. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness, right? I'm willing to die for this, right? I'm willing to be persecuted for this, right? All praises. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen, right? I'm not going to stop doing this. I'm not going to stop doing the most high's work, no matter what. I'm willing to take this long suffering for this work, right? There's nothing else for us. There's nothing else here on this earth for us until the Hamashiach returns, right? So let's read this again. This is Matthew chapter 5, verse 10. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And that's what I strive for. I'm striving for the kingdom of heaven. So yeah, I'm ready, I'm willing, ready and willing to be persecuted for righteousness. I'm willing to accept righteous suffering, right? Now let's go to Matthew chapter 10. Matthew chapter 10, verse 23. But when they persecute you in, in this city, flee ye into another. For verily I say unto you, ye shall not have gone over the cities till the Son of Man be come. Hold on. Khan Salakia. Now nah, this is right. Um, this is exactly what I'm looking for. Matthew chapter 10, verse 23. But when they persecute you in the city, in this city, flee ye into another. For verily I say unto you, ye shall not have gone over the cities of Israel till the Son of Man be come. Right? So now, if I'm doing the most high's work in this city. Right. And they come, you know, they, they looking for me. They like, man, we got to stop this dude from bringing it out. I got to go to another city. I, I got work to do. I don't have time. I don't have time to be caught by the Roman soldiers. You know what I'm saying? I don't have time to be persecuted. I'm will. I'm ready and willing, but I have to go put this word out. So I'm going to continue to go out and put this word out. Right. All praises. Now let's go to Mark chapter 10. The book of Mark chapter 10, verse 30. But he shall receive an hundredfold now in this time houses and brethren and sisters and mothers and children and lands with per persecutions. And in the world to come, eternal life. But many that are first shall be last and last first. So look, man, being persecuted for this truth, it just means I'm going to get things a hundredfold. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's basically what it is, man. Whatever I lose here in this truth, the Most High going to bless me, man. And it... And, there's nothing no one can do about it. There's nothing no one can do about it. 
No one can take away the promises that God has for his people. No one can take away anything that the Most High gives to his people. Anything at all. No one. Right? Now let's turn to the book of Luke. Luke chapter 6, verse 22. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you, and when they shall separate you from their company, and shall reproach you, and cast you, cast out your name as evil for the Son of Man's sake. When they start calling us evil, when they start uh, uh, scoffing us, right? We're blessed. We're blessed. They're going to hate us. Blessed are ye. Hold on. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you. When they, when they shall hate you. They're going to hate us. They hate us now. Blessed. We're blessed. There's nothing no one can do about it. We're still in Luke. Let's go to chapter 21 now. We're going to be blessed. And no one can do anything about it because when the Most High does something, it can't be undone unless he undoes it. Luke chapter 21, verse 12. But before all these, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. And it shall turn to you for a testimony. Settle it, therefore, in your hearts, not to meditate before what ye shall answer. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which all your ad adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. And ye shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren and kinsfolks and friends. And some of you shall they cause to be put to death. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But there shall not an hair of your head perish. In your patience possess ye your souls. He that endures until the end shall be saved. In your patience possess ye your souls. It says your, your, your mom, your, your dad, your parents are going to hate you. Your friends are going to hate you, right? Bros is going to hate you. They're going to want to kill you, right? This is wild. Let's turn now to the book of John. The book of John, chapter 15. The book of John, chapter 15, verse 20. Remember the word that I said unto you. The servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. Like, they did these things to Yahawashai. So, who are we to think that it's not going to happen to us? We preaching the same thing he was pushing, right? He he was killed for that, right? Hey, man, it, it is what it is, man. But I'm just saying, people die every day, right, for corner blocks. People die for street corners that they don't even own, right? People are dying for drugs, for drug money, for scandals, for all kind of crazy weirdo stuff, right? People are dying regularly, and it's all in vain. You're dying in vain. There's nothing after that for you, man. Like, well, what's next, right? I want to die for the most high. I'd rather die for something worth dying for. I'm not about to die for some drugs. I'm not about to die because somebody stepped on my shoes, right? I got a fresh pair of Jordans on. Somebody stepped on them. Now I'm going to kill them. 
That's crazy. We got to get out of that dumbass mentality, man. Right? Oh, he looking at me too long. Now I want to stir up some strife with him, right? I want to give him some grievous words. That's dumb. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, man. We want to do all the dumb shit and then be mad that that we go through all the dumb shit we go through, right? Just like the 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 people of old, right? They saw and saw not. They heard and heard not. They saw food come out the sky. They saw water come from the stone. They saw the Red Sea parted. You know what I'm saying? They saw they saw the Most High park his vehicle on the mountain, right? They 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 heard him speak. They they saw these things. They heard him speak. And they still built a, a cow made out of gold to worship. That's crazy. Now, now we know why the most high make you dumb, deaf, and blind, right? All praises. All right, so we was at John 15, 20, 21. Now, let's go to Acts chapter 5. All praises. Acts chapter 5, verse 40. And to him they agreed, and when they had called the apostles and beaten them, they commanded that they should not speak in the name of Jesus and let them go. So these apostles were preaching the word of Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And they got beat for it. They got beat for it, and then they were let go. And they departed from the presence of the council, rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name. See that? They were like, man, look, all praises to the most high, man. That's it. They, they got beaten for preaching the word of God. They got beaten. You, you understand that? Like, they were beaten for doing the kind of work me and my bros do on the highways and byways. This is what they got beaten for, and they let them go. And then they departed from the presence of the council, rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name. I hope I'm that worthy. I hope I'm that worthy, right? To suffer shame for the Most High and, the, and, and the, his son, Yahweh Shai, right? All praises. Let's turn to the book of Romans. Romans chapter 8, verse 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation? That's crazy. That's crazy. So now, the love of Christ, right? If we go through something... It's over. That's crazy, man. Some 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 people some people have that mentality, right? Or just not strong enough to endure certain things, but it's just it's it's not even the most high don't give you things that you can't he don't give you a burden too heavy for you to carry. And he always gives you an escape route, right? It's going to be things to tempt you, but he's always going to be there to give you an escape route, right? So now, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation? It's not about not being strong enough to carry that burden. It's laziness or you just don't feel like dealing with something, right? You don't want to. And that's, that's a big thing because... A lot of people are selfish. You want to do the desires of your heart. That's all you want to do. We need to become more like, you know, David, who was a, a man after the Lord's own heart, right? We got to be like that. All praises to the Most High. Let's get back into it. This is Romans chapter 8, verse 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or pearl, or sword? 
as it is written, for, the, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. For it is written, <laughs> for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. This is what we signing up for. We're signing up for this righteous suffering. This is how we, we're we choosing to suffer. If we're going to suffer anyway, it only makes sense to come to these laws, right? Because the faster we all come to these laws, the faster the suffering stops. Because Yahweh Shai coming, right? Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Nothing can separate us from that, that kind of love, right? Nothing. All praises. Let's... Uh, I'm going to close out with this next one. This is 2 Timothy. 2 Timothy chapter 2. Nothing can separate us from the love of God. And the brothers that I met coming in, coming into this whole, you know, this truth. Man, there is a fire lit. A zeal for the most high. I can tell you that brothers out here are really putting in work. They're genuine, right? And it's just, it's unbelievable the amount of love and humility that I have received from brothers following this truth, right? So this is going to be the last one. I'm going to close out with this last scripture. This is 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 12. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. Simple. I wanna, I wanna, um, I wanna reign. I wanna reign with him, right? All praises to the Most High. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. That's the message. Let's keep putting our best foot forward. Let's continue to race this race and keep the faith keep the commandments, and keep going. Endure until the end. That's the message here. Keep going, keep suffering for righteousness, and you'll be fine. With that, I'm going to close. All praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. That is all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High God, whose name is Yahweh. Bashem meaning coming in the name of, and Yahweh Shai who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. So-called blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics, we are the Hebrews of the Bible. We are the 12 tribes of Israel. Shalom, Mawafla Babal.